How's it going, Z? I got two for you. One, uh, what's it going to be like seeing Coach Fisher on the other sideline again? Um, it'll be uh, pretty cool to see him again. I haven't seen him in a while, so. And also, were you aware that the A&M South Carolina game, there's a trophy on the line for the winner? Did you guys know that? Uh, no, I wasn't aware of that. Zaquandre, what have the last couple of weeks been like for you? Obviously started, I think, the first two games and then didn't get some carries and then had your game, the game you did against Vanderbilt. What's that mentally been like for you and what's that been like in practice? Um, mentally, just having to be prepared, uh, just waiting on my opportunity to get the ball. Well, Andre, what, what were you kind of told over the last couple of weeks as to what you could have done maybe to be able to get those touches? Was there anything that you feel like was holding you back, or was it just the guys ahead of you just performing well in, in, in what you were told? Um, well, the running back group, we have a great group, so um, those guys were playing well. So I just had to just keep practicing and just keep staying on pace and doing my job. Let's go to John, back right. Yeah. How do you how do you feel physically? Uh, Shane said y'all said all the running backs were at least a little banged up. Said everybody had a little bit of an ankle injury. How how do you feel physically? Uh, what were you able to do in practice today? Um, well, you know it's week eight, so a, a lot of us are all banged up, um, and I felt good out there today. So I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty healthy, so I'll be good for um, this Saturday. Uh, just when you aren't getting those reps in game, what are you doing during practices to stay ready and stay focused? Um, make, making sure I'm just mentally prepared, watching every rep, um, because while they're doing the rep and I'm watching, it's like basically the same thing, so I can see what they don't see and make sure I'm ready to go. Let's go to Corey Diaz on the left side and back. Right so, Quandre, with the possibility of you continuing to get more touches with Zeb back under center at quarterback, from what we've seen out of this offense with Luke and, and, and Kevin and those guys versus what we potentially see with you guys, how does how does it change things offensively? What can people expect out of this offensive group going forward? Um, well, it's a tragic that we lost um, Luke, but nothing's going to change. We're still going to do the same thing, same game plan, and just go out there and execute. It's a quandary with – and I don't know how much you've gotten to watch of A&M's film over the last couple of days, but how important is pass protection going to be with this weekend, knowing that Zeb's not maybe the most mobile quarterback in the world, and you guys are going to have to keep him protected? Um, pass protection um, is really the same throughout every week, just making sure the quarterback doesn't get sacked. So with Luke, him, JB, anybody, we just don't want the quarterback to get sacked regardless. And I think in the spring, a lot was made about Jaheim and you with the Florida stick. Just how how nice has it been to see Jaheim kind of emerge and have this role that he's had in the offense over the last couple of weeks? Um, it feels good. That's like my right-hand man. So for him to be a young guy and making plays like how he is, it's just a good thing to see.